Alright guys, so if you just finished watching my first tutorial, you probably noticed that my dumb screen recorder just decided to cut me off in the middle of my tutorial. So I guess I will finish talking about what I want to teach you guys in this tutorial. So what did we talk about in the last tutorial? Basically what we did is we downloaded the file that we needed and we opened a project that already existed and viewed a bunch of samples. But my guess is you just don't want to download this to view a bunch of samples for the rest of your life. You actually want to create a project on your own and use this framework as an addition to enhance your games. So there are two different ways we can go about this. One is really hard and confusing and one is easy. If you want to do it really confusing and hard, what you can do is you can go ahead and build your project in normal Xcode and then include the files separately, the Cocos 2D files you want, and then integrate them all weird like. Or the easier way to do this is just to set up Cocos 2D templates and then use these templates to build your games right from that. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, listen to this. Go ahead in your finder and let's see if I can find this. Go ahead into your like, I don't know, applications right there and go to utilities and now double click your terminal to open it. And what I like to do is actually when it's uh, on your dock right here just click right click it and press options keep in dock so now you have your terminal in your dock whenever you need it but anyways check this out whatever directory you're in now you don't want to be in that directory so I don't really want to get into talking to you guys about how to use the terminal but what you need to do is you need to change the location of where this terminal is pointing to the folder itself. So CD means change directory. So go ahead and press CD from wherever you're at just as soon as your terminal opens then press space. Now if you know the file path to where you have your folder stored on your computer you can just go ahead and type that in like whatever slash user slash Bucky but there's a easier way to do this and this is why I store the file in my desktop. So check this out just go ahead and grab your folder after you press CD space and drag it in your terminal and release and whenever you drag anything in your terminal what it's going to do is it's going to create the path for this and just paste it in there so now what you want to do is press enter and now you see the path has changed from a white blue 1942 to Coco's 2D iPhone your folder so now you are looking at pretty much a terminal is this before they had a bunch of cool icons and stuff for the computers and folders people had to do everything from just text based so this is pretty much go back in time it's pretty much everything is pretty much your text based computer so anyways that's your little background on the terminal so now we are at the folder right now so what we need to do from here is do one simple, well it actually isn't a simple, but it's one command. Now follow along closely. And if you miss what I'm saying or if you forget a character, I'm actually going to be posting this in the description box below. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste this in. But anyways, here's what you need to do. Press period forward slash I-N-S-T-A-L-L -L, install minus templates dot sh and then you need to press spacebar and press minus u I think this stands for user and go ahead and press enter now it says it's gonna do that for me because I already ran this program once but it should run through a list of it just it's just gonna look like the matrix or something and it's gonna install a bunch of stuff on your computer and when it is installed it's gonna say you know um installed successfully or something like that but anyways that's what you need to do you need to change your directory to wherever your folder is like I showed you how and then once you're in that directory you need to install your templates using this command and again I'm gonna be posting this under my description in case you know you actually put backslash instead of forward slash or underscore instead of minus or something but anyways you're saying alright that's installed what the heck did I just do is that even gonna help me check this out 
go ahead and open Xcode and go ahead and press create new project now you know how you had your Mac OS 10 applications in your iPhone applications and libraries before check this out now under user templates you go ahead and click Cocos 2D and OMG we now have a bunch of sweet templates we can use so just go ahead and choose this and go ahead and name it Untitled 2 or something and go ahead and name it whatever you want and check this out it automatically includes everything you need so it takes away all the pain of having to do this every time we create a project so as I said before there are two different ways to do this you can go ahead and create your normal project which is all this stuff and then drag the folders and you need or you can just do this one time and any time now for the rest of your life you want to create a Cocos 2D application just go ahead and select the template how awesome is that I should save you a bunch of time I could save you a bunch of money on your car insurance alright I shouldn't sit down it's kinda of corny but anyways so that's all we need to do so um, if you want to make sure everything's working just go ahead and highlight your project click build and run and all the templates by default they just give you a basic hello world so you shouldn't get any issues or any warnings with this because it's just your basic template you shouldn't have changed anything right now so that's your splash screen and um, look at this hello world pops up and another thing I want to teach you guys is check this out you see this little icon right here and when you click it well it are it's already loaded but a little splash screen pops up and this isn't part of the tutorial just some extra because I have some extra time I want to tell you under your resources you have two files one is named icon with a capital I dot PNG what this does is it gives you a custom icon on your main screen pretty much you you know the icon you click to open your program in default ping whenever your program is loading but it's not ready yet this is called a splash screen and anytime you want to add a splash screen to your application just include a file named default ping with a capital D and you know you don't have to include any code in it and not your app delegates or anything like that the first thing your iPhone does when it opens an application is it looks for this file no coding included so anytime you want a splash screen you're saying alright where do I put the code for that no code whatsoever so there's a neat little tip on how to get icons and uh, splash screens but hopefully my dumb screen recorder didn't cut me off this tutorial and now you know how to create templates and again if you want that little line of code install templates.sh minus u I'll include it under my description so just go ahead and copy that so you don't mess anything up but anyways now that we got our templates we can actually begin coding I know you had to wait to the third tutorial to actually write some code but I'm sorry uh, you know I'm actually not sorry I just that's the way it is that's life so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out my forum either if you have any questions and uh, yeah that's all I gotta say I'll see you guys later